What's up, y'all? Hold on. Before we get to the video, before we get to the video, because this is my time coming back around. The last time I was here was before this tragic, tragic passing. So first and foremost, rest in peace, PNB. You see what I'm saying? Definitely glad now. A lot of things is coming up now, so a lot of things are getting solved. But I had to start off with that. Now let's get to the video. Let's go. feeling how y'all feeling i know y'all miss me it's been a minute it's been like well, like two weeks going on three since i dropped the last video yeah i'm doing these little youtube um shorts which i definitely definitely appreciate y'all for um supporting um and commenting and things like that you feel me? i'm going to keep on doing that as well just to give y'all some words of wisdom give y'all some advice um give y'all some words of encouragement and also i know for a fact that when it comes to certain things sometimes it's better to receive that from certain people. Um, especially sometimes from people that you don't know because you feel as though people that don't know you when they say certain stuff, they're not judging you because they don't know you. Whereas if somebody else that you know or close to you, you know, say something, is a chance that you might, might not take what they say um, to heed because of the fact that you know them. So you think they're judging you based on what they say. And that's not the case. So that's why I'm here. That's why I'm gonna keep on doing that to give you all that motivation, to give you all that word. Um, and just to give y'all certain stuff that I'm going through because the word that I give y'all, the words of wisdom, that's things that I've been through or are going through now that um, I feel like that, that that touched me. You see what I'm saying? Like, so I got a lot of things as well that I did want to post and upload, but I feel like it wasn't the right time. And it's not the right time yet. It's so much in my um, my phone, but I only post certain messages and certain stuff when I like I feel a passion behind it, when I feel very, very strong at that moment, um, like a certain emotion, and then I post it. So until then, I just keep them and I might re, um, re-listen to them, re-watch them and do things like that. Or sometimes I might delete them if I feel like um, I overcame that word or something like that or I feel like it's not needed right now. You see what I'm saying? But that's besides the point, so I definitely appreciate that. Um, another thing as well, we're about to get back to this gym. The gym the gym challenge definitely it did get paused a little bit. Um, a, lot, a lot was going on, you feel me? My body had to get used to the cold weather as well, you see what I'm saying? From getting hot and then all of a sudden overnight waking up now it's cold. I feel like I was getting a little cold coming on. I had to shake it off real quick so we good now. Didn't have to worry about that. Um, so now I'm about to get back at it. So I'm actually about to go to the gym today. So we about to get in it. So this is gonna be uploaded um, today. So be on the lookout, you feel me? And let's get back on this motivation. Let's get back on this grind, you see what I'm saying? Let's get it popping. Also, before I go, where I'm at right now, I'm at the connect right now. You see what I'm saying? So definitely, definitely um going to gram the official connects as well. We have everything, every accessory that you need for iPhones, Androids, fix all iPhone repairs as well. We sell phones, we buy phones, got limited service, 45 unlimited, every single thing. Talk, text, and data. We got a lot of stuff going on. We do a lot of weekly deals, a lot of daily deals. So definitely follow that social media, follow that business page. Definitely, definitely support. Um, and definitely keep on supporting me. And I definitely appreciate y'all for the people who are going to do that. And even if you're not going to do that, at the end of the day, I still appreciate you for watching this. So let's get a pop and let's go to the gym. And we back at it. All right, yo. So listen, we are at the fucking gym. I just wanted to say that. I, I, I had to turn myself up because it's been a minute. You see what I'm saying? Now, one thing I can say um, that you need to take from me, right, is that when, when it comes to the gym, like, this was my problem before. Going to the gym, right, and I talked about it before in my previous videos, is that when you go to the gym, you need to go, like, you need to keep on going consistently. If you miss one two three days of your gym routine usually you will not go back to the gym until like maybe months or years down the line and then your child start fresh and be like you know what i'm gonna get a gym membership this time and this time i'm not gonna stop i'm gonna continue and i'm not gonna cancel my membership and things like that right that happened to me 
all the time. I think that way and then I go back to the gym and then all of a sudden I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, then I miss a day, then I miss two days, and then I miss that third day. Once I miss that third day, yo, I don't go back to the gym. You feel what I'm saying? Now I missed almost like two weeks of the gym for situations. You feel me? A lot was, some procrastination, some business, things got uh life got a little bit more busier. Um, and then as well with the, the weather change and things like that, which I talked about a little bit earlier. You see what I'm saying? But now what I'm saying you got to take from me is the fact that I'm back in here. You see, I, mean, I didn't get in here yet, but I'm here. You see what I'm saying? It's been two weeks. I've been past three days. I'm, I'm on the 30 day challenge. I think I'm only, I only posted day six. You feel me? So like I'm full, I'm far, far behind to where like I could have just gave up. I could have just gave up and then worked on giving y'all other content and started another series or something like that. But I decided not to. You see what I'm saying? I decided to, you know what? Let me get back into it. You feel me? I'm, I'm tired of being a quitter. You see what I'm saying? I'm tired of being a person who just give up and don't finish what they, what they can finish. You see what I'm saying? Now, if I couldn't finish it, understandable. Some things... Depending on what it is when you stop, sometimes you can't finish depending on whatever that is, right? But when it comes to the gym, I can do that. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to go restart, revamp my body. You see what I'm saying? Get get my body, my arms, and my legs back to where it's supposed to be my chest. You feel me? So I can pop my titties. I'm trying to get all that back. You see what I'm saying? So I want you to know that um, no matter what, um, at the end of the day, everything is a mindset situation. Even when it comes to missing three days and all of a sudden you don't feel like going, it's because of the fact that your body be became so accustomed to being lazy and to not being active and um, or certain bones and certain parts of your body was so comfortable not being active anymore that it's just like, all right, I'm going to fall back to just not doing nothing because that's what the body wants to do in general, just to do nothing. You feel me? Like, who don't want to just do nothing if you really could and live a great financial wealthy life? But that's not the case. You see what I'm saying? So that's why. But now I'm about to get my body to wake the up and we back in this joint let's get a pop i don't think i'm gonna be here that long because i gotta get my body back together my body's still getting yeah you know i mean still recovering a little bit but i mean we in here though that's all that matters is that i took one step forward now i want y'all to take the second step for me and now i'm gonna take the rest of the three four and then you take five six you feel me let's go hand in hand let's get a popping game <laughs> gave up on that thing unless your mind scratch that scratch that scratch that okay so that's still gonna be here for at least another half hour gonna do what we gotta do then at this point get a smoothie and some other things but this right here is the goal um to let y'all know at the end of the day you never truly gave up on something um until it's completely out your mind you feel me if it's some if it's still in the back of your mind so we're like you think like damn maybe i should do this or um Damn, man, I wish I did do this. You feel me? If you if you have any of them thoughts, that mean that you still got time to actually go do that. You see what I'm saying? But people like to have them thoughts like maybe I should have done this or I should go do this and then they don't go do it. So then they just take it as a failure like, damn, I should have done this, but I didn't forget it. I failed on that one, whatever. Next time I do something, I'm going to yada, yada, yada. When actuality, when in actuality, all you're doing is just um, building a, um, a bad pattern, a bad habit, and that is of not finishing stuff and thinking that, you know what, I know I should have been harder on this one, I'm gonna go harder on the next one. You didn't you didn't finish nothing. That means you're gonna be con consistently a failure. You're not gonna know that until after the fifth or tenth time that you realize you're trying to do something and that you never completed. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, yo, don't stop, keep on going. I'm right here living because let's get a popping game. Dang.
what's up with y'all so we are done with the gym um i think i ended up running out of bed um i ran out of storage space so i couldn't record the whole process that I, I was in the gym for a long ass time i'm literally just leaving the gym i've been there almost for like 40 like almost like an hour um i was using the bike a lot but yeah i couldn't record a lot but um something i do want to tell y'all I, I do got a question for y'all actually um i'm most likely going to post it anyway on like my youtube shorts so y'all definitely can check it out as well um because that touches more people faster but for the people who actually watch my videos and everything like that my question to y'all um i do want y'all to comment and ask me this i mean i <laughs> ask me this answer this for me um why do y'all block people and when you do block people do you block people disrespectfully or do you block people respectfully okay the youtube shirt that i'm going to post before this is going to explain like in more detail of what i mean um because i've been blocked and i'm going to let you know but those are the two things respectfully or disrespectfully so let me know in the comment section let me know um, the reason why y'all block people and if y'all do it respectfully and, and disrespectfully. So to give you um, real, real quick, respectfully blocking is if you don't even see that person um, face to face in physical form, like in a long time. And you don't plan on seeing that person in physical form like ever again. So you and then that person just annoying. So it's just a phone tag situation. So you just block them. That's respectfully because that's all you can do disrespectfully is if you actually seen that person face to face in the physical form and you said you had no problems with this person and then all of a sudden the minute you turn your face and go the opposite way you end up just blocking as though you did have hidden animosity and had problems with this person even though you just said face to face that you didn't you see what i'm saying i feel like that's disrespectfully and i feel like that's some, some young some young kid immature shit because that lets me know that when you are confronted with a problem um instead of even addressing it with somebody or just saying yo i got a problem with you or i don't like this or this that and the third you decide to be like hey i do like this i do like this that and the third i don't have a problem with you but then you turn around you got a problem with me now i can't trust people like that and that means you're an untrustworthy person because that means a person is never going to really know um your intentions of that person you feel me if you always going to hold something hidden and you're never going to bring to the attention when they um either a quote-unquote come across disrespectful or not because they won't know because you won't tell them nothing you see what i'm saying so it should be it's certain stuff like that but like that's a or b disrespectfully is when you just really really disrespectful and immature and you're just gonna lie some lie in somebody's face respectfully the game gonna see that person in person and it's just like bro stop talking to me i'm just blocking you see what i'm saying so just let me know that but that's the end of this video let's get i'm about to upload this one but we're going to keep on going i got some more content i'm going to do i'm thinking about having a little animated series that i am about to start um it's going to have these Thinking about doing a little animated, um, little animated series. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Look at that. What's that? Oh, shit. We got a little Naruto. We got a little Groot. You feel me? And, like, that's all I'm going to show. They are, they are keychains. Keychains. They are keychains. Um, I ain't going to show you too much of who I'm going to have. Um, but it's going to be a nice little battle royale. I'm just bored. So, I just want to get y'all content. Something interesting. At least for the kids as well. Um, so, yeah. Let's get it popping. Um, follow me. On my gram certified plug 789 that got all my videos before everything. Um, follow my TikTok heck TikTok TikTok having fun being blessed. Um, follow my business page, even though I've been slowing down on that one, which I gotta get it back into that one, and I gotta do make videos about that one. So for y'all who are in the process of having a business, about to make one or have it and been sitting on it, been procrastinating, trying to figure out how to get back into it. Listen, I'm in your boat right now. I've been drawing on certain stuff. Granted, my time um been to the store and to other places as well that help people with business as well but that still doesn't stop the fact that i need to get on my business and get on my a game as well so let's get that popping you feel me just like this gym same thing with this business let's all do it together you feel me let's get it gang gang stress-free blessings you feel me Man.